Ballooning has been around for a long time. From scientific aspect to just humans wanting to to get themselves off the ground. To think that we turn, turned around and for as far as space travel and everything else is gone, we came back to using the balloon to turn around and make this happen. The crew from Holloman's balloon operations helped form the team to make Felix Baumgartner's jump from the edge of space a reality. This wasn't Holloman Balloon Ops' first time participating in a world record-breaking event. The Ops Center has a history as old as the building. On August 16, 1960, Air Force Captain Joseph Kittinger ascended 102,800 feet in a high-altitude balloon from Holloman. He jumped from the balloon, setting a world record. That record held strong until Felix Baumgartner's jump recently. Holloman's Balloon Ops also participated in the recent world record breaker. Our balloon is, the one that we launched was 30 million cubic foot. It's plastic, but it's a very thin film of plastic. It's basically like a sandwich bag. For the mission, we use helium trailers such as these, but for the, for the Red Bull mission, we use much bigger ones because of the volume of helium required. The weather turned around and brought in a, a dust devil or a, basically a wind shear. And it took the balloon and it twisted it all over the place. It ripped the, the end of the inflation duct right off my inflation piece and it turned around and it threw the other guy that was inflating all over the place. And it spun the balloon around, it hit the ground, and then it caught the corner of our launch arm. You always have a primary and a backup. So there's always, you know, you always have two. We were down to one balloon. If, it, if that one wouldn't have worked, then it, it wouldn't have went up. While one balloon went down during the mission, the well-oiled team from Holloman successfully launched the second balloon. After interviewing several members from the team, one thing was made very apparent. The team of all retired military worked well together and attributed their success to their prior enlistment. All of us that work down here are all retired military. Uh, and that was one of the things that was brought up to us during our time with Red Bull. We had some of the film crew come up to me and talk to me and says, Paul, I don't understand how you guys can work so well together. He says, everything is like clockwork. You, everybody knows where they're supposed to be and they do what they're supposed to do. Is it something I, I still get goosebumps and everything else when I think about it and if I watch the video and stuff, just to know that, that I was part of that. For Holloman Air Force Base, this is Senior Airman Laurie Moxley.